Hi guys, I'm Mandy. I'm going to be giving you some helpful tips for those of you who might be competing in a ballroom competition or any kind of dance competition soon and you may need some tips on tanning or how to do the self tanners or what, what options you have for looking bronzed and great on the floor for your big day of competition. Um, for those of you who have seen a lot of professional dancers, you see how dark they are on the floor. Um, not necessarily natural, but, but bronze nonetheless. So I'm going to give you some um, options that you can choose from so that you can try um, a couple of them, see how they work for you specifically. So the first thing that you can actually do is the tanning bed. I think it's no secret to anybody that the tanning bed isn't, uh, it's not safe, it can cause sun damage, freckles, um, it's just not good for your skin, it can cause cancer, but it is an option and unfortunately those people who are young and they have young beautiful skin and they think that their skin is going to look that way forever are going to go ahead and go do it anyway. If you sign up with like a tanning company and they sometimes give you unlimited for the month or you can pay, I don't know, like somewhere between 50 to $70 for five tans. They do have different kinds of beds. Some of them are supposed to be ultraviolet safe and they're supposed to not be as harmful as the regular beds and have different light bulbs. If, if you're lying on a light bulb, it's probably not good for your skin. So your next choice for tanning would be self tanner or tanner in a bottle with lotion or by mousse or um, there's, there's a couple different self tanners that you can use on the market that are, are really good. Some of them look really natural, they process nice and a lot of them don't, so I, I hopefully can steer you away from the not so good self tanners. If you are buying a thousand dollar dress or, or renting a dress for a one hundred, two hundred dollars, getting your hair and makeup done, and you're looking, you, you just want to look nice and glitzy on the floor, and you, you just want to look your best, and then you decide you want to go over to the Rite Aid next to you and buy the three dollar self tanner bottle of lotion or whatnot, they're going to see the dress and the hair and the makeup. Your skin, you're going to be showing a lot of skin. Just put a little bit more money into your tan because you want the whole package. You want to, you want to look your best um, as a whole. So invest a little bit of money into tanning. The cheaper you buy it, the more orange it's probably going to process. Um, I'm going to show you my favorite self tanners. The one that most people are familiar with in the ballroom world is Saint Tropez. Um, I know the ladies on uh, Dancing with the Stars, the makeup team, they, they use Saint Tropez and they love it. In fact, I think they use the mousse and the mousse, the mousse is really good. I do like it. When I was in, when I did Blackpool a hundred million years ago, this is what we used as a team. It looked great. It blends well. It has a green base rather than more of a red base. Uh, the green base just gives you more of that bronze look rather than kind of the, not necessarily orange, but or uh, a red base gives more kind of like a, a sun-kissed look. This one looks like you've been working on your tan for a little while. So Saint-Tropez, a good investment. One bottle, it depends on where you buy it, but one bottle can be, I guess, up to $26 or whatnot. Try, uh, try one coat, see how it looks, and then the next day try a different coat if you want to be a little bit darker. Then basically just apply it until you get the color that you want check with your coach, check with someone who's familiar with doing this, and then they'll, they'll give you uh, their opinion on how, how you're looking. Okay, um, another one that I actually, I like, I don't know if I like it as much as Saint Tropez, but it has the same kind of green base and it's, it's sun. I don't know if you can, um, I can't even pronounce it correctly and I'm sure I'm gonna botch it. Gise, uh, G-I-E-S-E-E, -E. I don't even know if you can, Anyway, I bought this bottle from folica.com, F-O-L-I-C-A.com, and their prices are really good. So this is the one that I got. This is the dark formula. If you're competing, you could probably do their extra dark. This one looks pretty natural on me. I'm a pretty medium toned, I have medium toned skin, and it looks somewhat natural like I've been to the beach all day. Uh, you could get the extra dark and, and I think you'd be okay as far as competing. Same thing, just reapply, get the color that you want. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other products. If you have a product that you really like that, that you've been really satisfied with that I don't know about, then please comment below and let me know what works for you.
So the third choice that you can do, which is my favorite, and I love doing this, and, and I, don't, I don't mean to be biased, but it's because I do it. I actually do airbrush tanning, and uh, airbrush tanning is amazing. It is so cool because it just covers your body um, evenly everywhere. It gives a nice color. When I do it, I'm able to color coat according to your skin type, so if you're really fair, I wouldn't use the same um, intensity of, that I would put on someone a little bit darker. I have uh, an intensity color specifically for your fair skin. So it works really nice. So this is the way the gun looks. It's a little intimidating, I know, I'm sorry. And you, I take the gun, I fill it with the product, and then I spray evenly all the way around your body. And it's great, you don't get um, palm, the, the orangey palms, because when you apply the self-tanner, what happen, tends to happen is you get those dark, dark palms because when you're covering it with your body, it's just intensifying on your palm. A lot of people put the gloves on, but it just doesn't blend as well into your body. Anyway, so great investment. There are some places that sometimes charge anywhere between 40 to $75. Go to a place that's familiar with competitors. Uh, or it, who at least is familiar with blending color or knowing how how intense your body needs to look for the dance floor. A lot of them might steer away from making you too dark because they don't understand how dark you're supposed to be on the floor. The reason that they want you so dark is because the lights are intense, the, the colors on the costumes, again, are intense. Everything's intense on the dance floor with the glitz and the glamour, with the, um, the high beams, the heavy makeup that you're going to get washed out. Your, your, your body color, everything's going to be washed out on the floor. So you need to have a nice brown tone so that um, it's actually so you don't stand out because most of the people that are going to be on the floor are probably going to have a nice rich tan going and if you're out on the floor and you don't necessarily have any color, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. The last option isn't very popular but I do know a couple people who do it on top of the, the self-processed tan and it's called tinting. I can actually do it with my airbrush gun. Uh, it's just a color that I, I airbrush on, on you, like the the solution for the self pro, or, um, the self tanning solution that I put in my gun. Except it doesn't process. It's just a color. I spray it on you. It's there. You dance. You go home. You shower. It comes off. That is a good option for new competitors. Only thing about it is, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you have a, a light colored costume or if your partner is going to be wearing a white shirt or if your partner is wearing a, 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 lighter, a, a lighter costume basically. And it's only because uh, it, it does rub off and uh, it stays on actually really, really well, but if you're going to be sweating, more than likely it's going to rub off just a little bit. Just call some places that do the airbrushing and find out if they do that. I, uh, actually, I, I don't know of many that actually do. So, so that is also a choice. And then one product that I actually don't use with my airbrush gun, it's by Ben Nye. It's incredibly inexpensive, and it's called Bronzing Body Tint. That's all it is. It actually makes you look like you have a nice little sunburn. Uh, maybe not even a sunburn, it's just you, just you look like you're tan. How I use this is I put it on a sponge. I basically just line it on my body and then I rub it in with my hands and then I wash the excess color off of my hands. Again, this does not process, it just kind of gives you a nice base. Uh, for the color that professional competitors use, this actually would be too light. They actually get in incredibly deep in color. And I, I think I, when I was competing once, I, I, did, um, I did the airbrush tan, and then I actually did the self-tanner self -tan with the lotion on top of that to get that really dark color. And then just to see, I put this on top of that and it, you couldn't even see it. So in reality, you want to be darker than what a self-tanner, or excuse me, a, a body tint would, would give to you, if that makes sense. So that's basically it. This is what I use. This is what works for me. Um, if I find anything else, then I will uh, post it so you can see how it works. And again, if you have any questions, um, just write them down and I will help you out. And good luck to those of you who might be doing this for the first time. It might be a little intimidating, but it is so much fun. And do the dancing because you love to dance and because you like to do the, the dressing up and the tanning and the makeup. And it's just a really fun experience all together. So enjoy yourself, do the tanning right, just put a little bit more money towards it to make it look right for the floor. And uh, good luck and happy dancing.